The Babysitter is a new Netflix original film by McGee. McGee who did Terminator Salvation and the Charlie's Angels films. The plot of The Babysitter is that Cole has his parents go away for a weekend and he has a babysitter played by Samara Weaving come around and look after him. And what you see from early on is that she's sort of the coolest babysitter you've ever seen. She's beautiful, she's fun, she's goofy, you know, she's almost too good to be true. Now, he talks to his friend across the road who says, I reckon she has lots of boys around and they have orgies in the evening. And he goes, no, 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 she's too cool for that. And he decides to stay up to spy on her after he goes to bed. So they have a wonderful evening. He stays up to spy on her. And what he sees is a group of other equally over attractive and cool people having a game of spin the bottle with one sort of mega nerd <laughs> in the mix. And the mega nerd gets sacrificed. And you soon find out that this is because they want to undertake some satanic ritual to get them everything they want and desire. Um, from that point, the film has a really fast pace and it involves him evading capture by all the various um, cool people that have attended his house. So it's like the high school quarterback, um, cheerleader, things like that. The film is really, really fun. I know people go, oh, Mc G, but he, you know, he makes rubbish. But he, he's made a really, really fun, straightforward film. The best way to describe it is when I was watching it, it reminded me of films from the 80s and early 90s where kids would get into situations that would then spiral out of control, such as films like License to Drive and um, I think... Uh, Another one named the ba another babysitter film. So I can't think what it's called. Um, starring Emma Elizabeth Shue. Anyway, but it's that kind of film. But it doesn't do what a lot of things nowadays do, which is constantly full of references and that. It's confident enough in itself to be able to just enjoy itself, have a nice fun through plot. There's no mucking about with additional story elements, and it's funny. It's full of action full of sort of gory deaths as well and it's a really enjoyable Saturday night's entertainment. It's only 124 minutes long um, and it's exactly the right length. Any longer it would have outstayed its welcome. Um, all the actors in it are clearly having fun and that comes across on screen and it just makes it all the more enjoyable. Uh, we were guessing how it was going to end. Um, and it was kind of in line with what we th what we thought it would be, um, but it's definitely worth watching. Definitely worth checking out, particularly on sort of dark nights when you you're stuck indoors and you just want something enjoyable to watch. So the babysitter, definitely watch it. Uh, it's definitely one to enjoy. Prepara.